Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know I told you yesterday I was going to be doing some videos with my copycat beauty and so that is what I'm doing today. Hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. I'm super duper excited to do this video. <sighs> okay, so I've already put on my foundation concealer. I've set my face. I've done my eyebrows and we are going to get started. So I'm going to finish up the face before I do the eyes. And I'm going to be using a couple of different palettes to kind of see everything and how it all looks. So I brought up on my phone the Copycat Beauty site. And so the first palette I'm using is this one. This is the Go To Beauty um, Ambiance. Now this is supposed to be the Hourglass ambient lighting edit edit palette now this palette the regular palette not the dupe goes for eighty dollars um this one however the ambiance highlighter blush palette is $8.99 so we're gonna test this out obviously the packaging is probably not anywhere near as good as the regular but we'll see I know yesterday when I was showing this palette um, it's a little dry, so we're going to just see what happens. I'm just going to be using this bronzing shade right here to kind of do contour and bronze my face. So we're going to see what happens. So first, I'm going to take this like powdery SK brush and I'm just going to dip it in this and kind of swirl it around and see if I'm picking up some color. Okay, see, so I'm not really seeing a bunch of pigment on the brush, so perhaps I need a rougher brush. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. This is the Sculpting Face Brush. Let's see if it picks it up. Okay, why aren't you working here, friend? There we go. So it's like angled and it's specifically for contouring. So now I'm going to try and pick this up. So I'm like really pressing pretty hard to try and get this pigment. It's coming up a little bit. Yeah, not a ton though. It kind of smells like a factory. Hmm. So it's coming up just a little. Nothing like super major, but I'm going to try and build it up and we'll see what happens. So I am like really pressing hard into this palette. And again, I know I told you when I was doing the video that, you know, if I have to build something up, that is not a huge deal to me. Mainly because if I'm spending $8.99 on a palette that is duping an $80 palette, I can't complain. So obviously I feel like even though... The palette is duping an $80 palette. I'm having to build it up quite a lot to get even like a little bit of color. And this is like a really dry product. So I'm thinking the $80 one is probably not like this. But, you know, it could be worse. So I'm just using this and I'm kind of like bronzing up the face just a little bit. Okay, now it is like really building up and I'm liking that. It's not patchy, it's not muddy. So, building it up. Again, it's very dry, not the easiest to work with. It's not buttery or anything like that. But, 
It's also not $80, so. Just kind of contouring the nose. So definitely going to need a firmer brush if you decide to get this palette, mainly because it really wasn't picking up on a soft brush. Just going to put a little dot under the lip. So even though it's taking me literally almost six minutes to do this, maybe five can't really complain. I mean, the color is there once I build it up and really like get into the palette. So can't complain. Okay guys. So that is this palette. Again, nothing like super amazing but the color is there and it's a dupe so so far I really like it I mean it's not bad at all all right I'm just gonna take a big like powder brush and kind of blend it and see how that goes just kind of smoothing it out a little bit just to make sure everything is blended out all right so not terrible. All right, moving on. So this is the exposed palette. In this, let me just pull back my phone. And let's find it. Okay, so this is supposed to be a dupe on the NARS Narcissist Wanted Cheek Palette, which runs for $59. This is the exposed one cheek palette for $8.99. And it's super beautiful looking. It comes with a highlighter and a bunch of cheek shades. So let's see. I'm going to be using my normal go-to blush brush by SK that I got at Target. I'm just going to pick up this sh middle shade up here. So this is coming up pretty well. It's a little powdery, but not terrible. Definitely pigmented. All right, as you can see, it's adding like color to my face, which obviously is important with blush. Okay, so this is definitely a lot easier to work with. This is something I would definitely purchase again. It's kind of like a corally, peachy color. I'm just going to pick up this one right here, down here at the bottom, and see what happens. I'm just going to kind of layer it, and then blend that. Yeah, I would definitely purchase this again. This is awesome. So, this is the cheek palette. Moving on. Going to the go-to Beauty Beach Glow. So this is a dupe off of the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Beach Glow. So this is supposed to be the Sugar Glow Kit, and that runs for $40. This is $8.99. So again, the packaging, I mean, it's cheap, cardboard, not the greatest. It comes with a mirror, though, so that's not terrible. Um, yeah, not terrible at all. So... We'll see how the highlighters work. So it comes with four big giant highlighters. And again, the Anastasia is probably going to be, of course, better. But again, these are dupes, so I'm not super worried about it. I'm going to pick up this shade right down here. And I'm using my normal go-to highlighting brush, which is the Small Elf Tapered Brush. So Small Tapered Brush by e.l.f. And we'll see what happens. All of my brushes are clean. It's picking up pretty well. So I'm just going to kind of... Yeah, that is really nice. 
I mean, you can see it, I mean, instantly. So it definitely is picking up. And that is what is important to me. I'm not worried about the packaging. I'm not worrying about if I have to build it up. I'm worrying about if it is actually worth it. And so far, I don't have a lot of complaints about these. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so the highlighter, I have Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It's not that specific one, but I have her contour kits and I also have her contour stick. So I have worked with her products before and I really do like them, but this is good to me. I like it a lot. All right, I'm going to go in and just really quick pick up this lighter shade next to it. Wait, was that the one I was using? I don't remember. And I'm just going to highlight above the lip. Yeah, I am really liking this. Okay, moving on. So that is it for the face palettes that I've purchased. Well, enough for, for the face. Now I'm going to be going in and doing my eyes. I'm going to use the Jamocha Go To beauty palette. Now this is a dupe off of the Tarte In Bloom eyeshadow palette, which is $39. This is the Jamocha palette, or I'm sorry, Jamocha eyeshadow palette for $8.99. So definitely pretty. I mean, it looks very smooth. It looks almost identical comes with a little mirror whoa there we go comes with a little mirror so let's see how it works I think I'm gonna be doing like kind of a glam look today first I'm gonna use this go-to beauty eye primer and I showed you guys this yesterday it comes with a little like applicating thing it's not a sponge so I'm just gonna put it right on the eye And I'm going to blend it with my little Real Techniques blender. Oh, it's getting kind of everywhere. Not bad. It doesn't feel like sticky or anything like that. Definitely looks smooth. I didn't find any setting powders on their site. So I'm going to set it with just this color right here. Actually, I'm going to go with the one underneath. So this middle color is what I'm going to set that with. I'm just going to go in with this big fluffy profusion brush. Oh, it's definitely powdery. I'm just going to set that really quick. Okay, so now that that is set, we're going to get right into the eyes. So, I'm going to use this fluffy kind of like blending crease brush by SK and I'm going to go in with this color right here. And again, these are really powdery, so make sure you're tapping off the excess. I'm going to use this as a transition shade. So I am kind of building it up a little bit. But it's definitely, you can tell it's there, obviously, compared to this eye. It's not super bold, but that's okay because it's a transition shade. Nothing worrying about that. So, so far, so great. Again, there are always going to be like, oh, it's not the greatest because they are dupes, but if they work for you, 
why not? I don't want to spend $80 on a palette. That's a lot. Um, so I don't know. All right. I'm going to go in with this darker brown shade down here. Just kind of build up that crease. Oh, that's looking really nice. That is looking really, really beautiful. Yeah, okay. It's not patchy, it's not like disappearing. It's, I mean, it's working just like an eyeshadow palette should. So no complaints there. Yes, okay. So I'm definitely pleased. All right. I'm gonna go in with, let's see, let's do this little guy. This is like a pointed like packing brush and I'm gonna build up the crease on the outer. So I'm just gonna use this dark, dark brown shade right here. I'm just gonna pack this on the outer V. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sorry guys, my posture really sucks when I do these videos. And mainly because I can't see, I don't have my contacts in. I'm just kind of like trying to get as close as possible to being able to see. So I guess I can use this mirror. That would definitely probably help. I mean, looking at it up close, like, wow. I mean, it's super pigmented and super blendable. It's going on really smooth. There's not a ton of fallout, so that's not a huge issue. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back in with the eye primer. And I'm going to do a cut crease, so I'm going to use my little SK, looks like a packing brush. I'm going to use it for the primer to cut the crease. I'm going to put a little dot on there. Now, you don't have to do a cut crease just for like a shimmer shade. You can do a cut crease for a lot of things if you want like a pigment to stand out. It's really just kind of making it a neutral base to do your eyeshadow. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Kind of just like pat it on and then sweep. All right, perfect. All right, so now I'm going to go in. Let's do, I'm going to use the same brush. So this little SK brush. And I'm going to grab this dark brown shade. It's like a darker shimmery shade right here. It's like gold, bronze. We're going for it. So that is, I mean, honestly, this palette is really awesome. I have no complaints about this palette. I think I really like it better than even like Elf's palettes. And Elf, their palettes, like I mentioned yesterday, their big like multi-color palettes are like $10. And this is $8.99, and I really don't have any complaints about it. I mean, the shimmer is there. It's blending beautifully. I mean, there's really nothing else that I could ask for in a palette like this. I'm going to go back in with this little brush right here, and I'm taking this 
dark brown, and I'm going to mix it with this even darker brown. And just kind of make it an even more bold eye. Like I said, I was going to do like a glam eye. Now I'm going to take a clean brush. This is my Elizabeth Mott blending brush and I'm just going to blend this to make sure everything kind of looks smooth. I mean, honestly, there's no patchiness, no nothing. It's beautiful. It's working like a charm. I'm going to pick up that shimmer shade just to kind of touch that up guys it is like blowing my mind it's beautiful okay so now I'm going to go in I'm going to use this really light shade up here and I'm going to highlight the brow bone I'm going to use the double end of the profusion brush and I'm just going to kind of Pick that up on the very edge. I kind of took it in a little further than I normally would, but I just want to see like how it really looks. And so far, great. All right. I'm going to pick it up and put it on the inner corner. I am like really, really pleased. Okay, so that's it for that palette for now. I'm gonna go in with the Go To Beauty um, Eye Marker and we're gonna just line the lashes. Sorry guys, my nose is like really itchy all of a sudden. Super pigmented. It's working really well. Just gonna pick this up so I can kind of make sure. You know, even on the shimmer shades, which if you typically like line your la line your upper lash line, and you have on a shimmer shade, sometimes it picks up that shimmer and it makes it really hard to do it. But this is. I mean, I really don't have any complaints about it. It's working really well. It's beautiful. I mean, this is super pigmented. It is a little flexible, not super flexible, but I mean, again, no complaints there. I'm just going to blend this up just a little bit more. This is my clean Elizabeth Mott brush. I'm just going to kind of make sure it is as balanced as I want it to be. All right. So I did not buy the mascara because I watched a video and people were like, ah, it's burning my eyes. So I didn't want to buy it, but I am going to use this LA girl fiber lash mascara. This is their 3d fiber mascara. I've only used this once and I wasn't a fan, but we'll see. This is a pretty cheap mascara if I can remember. It's like $3.99, possibly maybe five at the most. You know what? I think it was $4.99. I haven't used it in a video though, so I wanted to use something that I don't typically use. And of course, this is in the shade black. So 
so I'm kind of building it up. It's not super liquidy, but we're going to see how it builds up. I don't use false lashes. I tried them once. Um, I don't know. I'm just not a great false lash person. And my lashes are pretty long on their own. So I don't typically use it. This mascara is okay. It's not really obviously my favorite. I mean, it's definitely making them look pretty thick. So that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go in with one more quick coat. Now that I've put on a couple of coats and kind of ran it through, it's looking really nice. I mean, I really do like it actually. Now that I've built it up and ran the wand through, I mean, it's definitely giving me volume, making them look thick, so no complaints. Definitely not my normal go-to. I'm gonna kind of zoom my face in so you can see. They definitely look nice. All right, I'm gonna go back into this palette, the Jamocha palette, and I'm going to do my under eye shadow. And I'm gonna pick up just my SK Smudge Brush. And let's go in with this dark brown, these two dark browns. So let's just dip and dip and dip, tap off the excess and drag that on there. I'm kind of like pulling it a little bit to kind of make that drop shadow. I'm going to go in with just the dark and hit that on the outer just a little bit more. And then I'm just going to kind of sweep and pull. All right. Guys, I really, I don't know. I just don't have a lot of complaints about that eyeshadow palette whatsoever. I'm gonna go back in with my LA Girl Mascara Fiber Lash. Just sweep it on the bottom lashes really quickly. And I'm just going to sweep it on the top lashes one more time. That is just like a habit of mine to do that. So it's not anything that you have to do. It's just something that I pretty much always do before I end my looks. All right, guys. So for the lip, I have purchased this go-to beauty. This is the shade 10. So it's kind of like 
a nude color and let's see how it works out. It's a little stiff. But the color is definitely there. Now these are dupes of MAC. Sorry, I almost forgot that. Let's see. <clears throat> it's gonna take me just a minute to pull that up. So these are MAC dupes and I don't have any MAC purchases. These are $3.99. So again, it's pigmented, it's soft, it feels nice on the lips. Looks nice, no complaints there. I mean, look at it. Would you just look at it? Definitely nice, I am liking that. So, all right. Guys, let me just quickly set my face using the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I'm almost out. Let me let my hair down. I'm having the worst hair day, but I'm letting it down anyway. It's super greasy because of my new tattoo, the product that you put on the tattoos. I use Aquaphor and it's gotten in my hair somehow and it is looking a mm, greasy mess. So, all right guys, so that is a finished look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am just gonna tell you, I would definitely buy this palette again. This is the Jamocha Eye Palette. I mean, look, just, it's amazing. This is the Beach Glow. Do, do, do. Also amazing. I love the highlighter. The cheek palette, which is the exposed one. Definitely would purchase again. The only one that I probably wouldn't purchase again is the ambiance palette. It's just very dry. Um, I had a really hard time picking up any color and I really had to build it up. So probably wouldn't buy the $80 palette either, but I will definitely use this again. I mean, why not? I'm going to keep using it. I have it, so might as well use it. Um, just probably nothing that I would purchase again. So guys, the finished look, I mean, all these $8.99, $3.99, whatever, why not? I love them. This is the only one I probably wouldn't buy again. So, all right, guys, this is a finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video and I did like a glam eye. So I hope you guys liked it and I hope this helps you, especially if you want to buy some of those products. I definitely recommend them. Just not this one. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. I hope your weekend is going awesome. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Lights like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell if you want to see my next videos pop up on your notifications. But all right, guys, that's it for today. I will see you next time.